Tom Brady versus Lamar Jackson, man. That I showed the stats. We have the stat sheet I over the first more. five years. Um, I disagree with you still. <laughs> I thought this was just intriguing. I thought it was interesting. I know me and uh, Bailey had a little argument behind the scenes here. And let's take a look. I'm not saying anything at all. I'm just saying the stats uh, are the stats. 86 games to 80 games. So this is Record, a full 58 show. and 19 and 0. 58, 20 and 0. Hmm. Completion percentage 61.9 for Brady, 64 and a half for Lamar. Hmm. Passing yards, Brady 18,035 yards, Lamar 15,887. Shout out to Tom Brady. Was that pass yards uh uh attempt per attempt? 7.1 Brady, 7.5 Lamar. Hmm. Passing yards per game, 225.4, 184.7. Shout out to Tom Brady. Passing touchdowns at this point, 123 Tom Brady, 125 Lamar Jackson. Hmm. Interceptions, 66 Tom Brady to 45 Lamar Jackson. Hmm. So if you as you go down here and we don't, the rushing yards, you don't, you don't want to even get that, you know, that only, you know, let's move past that. As you go through here from a statistical standpoint, they're comparable amongst the passing stats and the regular season wins. Obviously, this goes without question. This is common sense. Anybody come out here and read and know what the next thing is. The playoffs. And the Super Bowls is what matters. And that's what Tom Brady went out there and, and won. Now, if you if you want to make an argument or make excuses, Danny, come in, Danny, Danny, come in. Go and jump in, Bailey. Obviously, we know we know the Patriots <laughs> had number one defenses. Tom Brady's first, I think, first Super Bowl for sure. He wasn't that amazing. He, I think he would even say that. He made plays when he needs to make plays, but he wasn't that amazing. He had amazing defense. And shout out to Bill Belichick for, for putting together that defense. So there's other factors that goes into you winning championships other than just how you played as a quarterback. But Lamar Jackson has to perform better in the playoffs. We all know that. Go ahead, man. I'll just say one thing, and this is all I'll really say on it. Football, especially college football in the NFL, is a result-oriented business. And so the stats – if the stats don't lead to success and results, mm -hmm. then it don't really matter. But I hear your argument. I got a quick question, Barry, because I, I I agree with what you're saying. Like everything can look cute and, and, and fancy, but if you're not winning, then what does it matter? So just for based upon your argument, the only time a quarterback we will view a quarterback as having a good season moving forward is if their team won a Super Bowl that year. Is that fair to no, say? That's what I said. But, I mean, we can sit here and say, yeah, Lamar is a hell of a player in the regular season, but what has he done in the playoffs? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you could argue Daniel Jones has horrible stats in the regular season, but he's won a playoff game. I mean, there's play, quarterbacks that haven't won a playoff game that a lot of people are arguing are better than Daniel Jones. I believe yourself would say that AR5 you think is better than Daniel Jones. That's just my example. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But um, so, okay. So, for example, then, Aaron Rodgers is a guy who's been to one Super Bowl. He's He, he went to one. He won one. He hasn't mm -hmm. been back since. Aaron Rodgers is somebody who we all view, all three of us, I'm pretty sure, view as an all-time great. One of the best passers of football we have ever seen in our entire lives. Probably will be in all of our top 10 quarterback lists all time, if I had to guess. Mm hmm He's only been to one and won one. But right. why do we view him as an all-time great? Because our eyes work, right? Because our eyes work and we see we see what we see. So although Lamar Jackson has not won yet, my eyes still work. And I see the greatest and I see that he has the ability to win one. Peyton Manning, and I'm not saying Lamar is Peyton Manning. I'm giving you different examples of all-time greats who, who took a while before they won. Peyton Manning took him like seven years, eight years before he finally got over the hump and won one. John Elway, if I'm not mistaken, please fact check me in the chat. I think it was 37 years old, I want to say, when he finally won his first Super Bowl. But before he won that first Super Bowl, if he would have just said, you know what, I tried, I had a hell of a career, if he would have hung up his cleats, we would have still looked at him as an all-time great because our eyes work. Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is I get winning is a, is a quarterback stat and getting to Super Bowls is the, all, is the ultimate goal, but we have to stop belitt belittling everything else like the regular season still matters y'all 
getting to AFC Championship game still matters, y'all. There are still wins along the journey, even if you fall a little short. There's only two teams in the Super Bowl every single year. The rest of everybody else, they fell short of their team goal. There's still other good players on those teams, all I'm saying. I'm done. Hey, um, you argue you argue that Lamar J- – we just had a debate. How long was it that we were arguing – I mean, John Harbaugh said that J- Lamar will be, end up being the greatest quarterback of all time. I mean, I, I mean, this is such a tough comparison. He's got to go win, man, for him to even go get into that conversation. Personally, and, you know, you said you guys view Aaron Rodgers as an all-time great. Yeah, he's an all-time great, but there's a lot of all-time greats. I'm not putting him top 10 or top 20. I'm not putting him above people who have already won and, have, you know, proven that on the field. That's kind of my thing. But, yeah. I so, so you got Eli Manning above Aaron Rodgers then, right? You have to. How could you not? How you beat Tom Brady twice. How could you not? I'm done talking. There you go. Um, JB, really jump in. I don't even want to really debate it. I can't talk. I can't say nothing. After, after my man just told me that he got Eli Manning, who I respect because I, I love the Manning family. But when you say Eli Manning is better than Aaron Rodgers, that's when I got to I got to just separate myself from the conversation. Why? I got I got I got I to stop talking at that point. Why? Look at the numbers, please. For real, for real. When, when you get a chance, like during this break, whenever you hop off, for real, take like five minutes. So you look just at the wins. You look, look, look at the wins and losses. Don't no, look at the wins and losses amongst their career. Look at the touchdown to interception ratio, which JB says is a very important stat to him as a quarterback. And then obviously you got the Super Bowl. So Eli won one more Super Bowl than Aaron Rodgers. So you're telling me that one more Super Bowl is the difference. That one more Super Bowl trumps everything else. Everything up the winning seasons, the four time MVP, the all pros, the passing yards, the passing touchdowns. Like, that's what I'm saying, y'all. Like, I think you guys are, and I love winning. Winning is the ultimate goal. We get that. But winning alone isn't the answer. There, there is there is literally no metric. Please find it that tells me that Eli Manning is a better quarterback. Then Aaron Rodgers, I challenge you both to give me proof that Eli, any proof, anything that showed me that he's better than Aaron Rodgers. I challenge you both. I'm gonna, I just want to drop a few names real quick. And this is why it's hard to talk to cats about QBs when it's just about stats. This is why I don't bring up stats too often. This is why Mahomes gets glorified for stats when really, if you look at the body of work and the actual film, uh, people will never understand my takes on it. But Troy Brown, David Patton, Charles Johnson, uh, old Joey Galloway, uh, old Chad Johnson, uh, uh, a white Wes Welker. Um, uh, I, I, I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, Dion Branch, David, Baller, Gibbs, Baller. David Givens. <laughs> Somebody don't even know who that is. Um, by the way, those were Tom Brady's best wideouts besides one year borrow from Randy Moss. So I just want to be honest. Let's be honest. Let's keep it real. What's a one year a baller, a one year borrow from Randy Moss, Gronkowski, a, a, a Hernandez, tight end. No, we're, we're, we're just talking wideouts right now. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Oh, what are you talking about? We can go to tight ends, too. Tight end got, I mean, that, that's, come on now. They're still a weapon. Oh, I know. I'm just talking wide out, though. I can, we're going to get to tight ends. You, by the way, Lamar's had one of the best NFL tight ends his whole career. Right. So what are you talking about? Right. right. So I'm just talking wide outs. I take Lamar's wide out every day that he's had in his career over Tom Brady's wide outs that he had in his first fight. We're talking 2000 to 2005. This Smith. is why I don't even want to discuss this because you're bringing – for you to bring up these stats, is a telltale sign. You're bringing up from 2000 to 2005 for Tom Brady, and yet you're bringing up <laughs> the numbers for to Lamar Jackson in a much easier era, much more pass-happy era. And I'm just going to bring in one thing. I'm going to end this conversation real quick, and you guys can ha- have at it. Smitty, if Lamar hasn't won yet, he'll never win. He's not getting better in the pocket, and he's not going to be able to run forever. So make it make sense. 
You think this guy's going to continue to run around? He's getting slower, Smitty. He's getting walked down now if you haven't watched him lately. He lost weight this offseason because of that. I, I don't care. I don't year. care. You can keep making excuses. Bottom line is he can't pass. And he Let's can't bet be on that. Passer. Let's bet money on, on this. Though. We've already bet on it, dog. No, no, let's bet money on Lamar winning a Super Bowl. You act, you, act, you act like Lamar's going to win a Super Bowl at 37 years old like Brady, homie. Get the fuck out of here. Let's just bet on it then. You're so confident. I don't, I'm don't. i not arguing with you. Let's bet I, bet on you it. I bet you my house. All right, cool. Let's bet your house. I bet you my house. What are you going to give me? Let's bet you, what you want. The Malibu? Yep. You got to have an equal fucking deal here, homie. Hey, well, don't give me out. Bet me some other shit then. All right, baby, go ahead. What do you got to say? Bet me Cali. I want your dog. Last thing I'll say. Man, Eli Tom that. Brady, Darnell. Tom fucking Brady. Is that Does that not hold any weight? Aaron Rodgers has been argument. fuck up the case of 49ers argument. for years. It's not even an argument. That's why I'm saying it's crazy to bring up these stats. Because stats are overwhelming. Stats are fucking the joke. JB, hold on real quick. Because like, you haven't said nothing yet. I want, I want some clarity because you're the quarterback guru. Do you agree with Bailey? That Eli Manning is better than Aaron Rodgers. Please, yes or no? Please, just yes or no? No, I don't agree he's better. All right. Well, I'm not saying talent-wise he's better, but I'm saying when you look at him stack to sack all time, great. You can't put Aaron Rodgers ahead of Eli Manning. You can't. I don't think one more Smitty. Super Bowl. But, Smitty, you also no, said – no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So, hold on. So, Eli Manning is better than Dan Marino. Why are you hesitating? Why are you hesitating? That's by your knowledge. He's better. Have, he's, yeah, you have to put him ahead. Yes. He's fucking crazy. Y'all are fucking. You are looking at him I'm from a talent awesome. perspective. That's like you. So you're gonna say Lamar Jackson is better than Eli Manning, right? Hold on. Who's my man? Who's my man for the fucking Ravens in, uh, back in 2000? Uh, uh, with, 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 with Ray, say his name. Trent Dilfer. Trent Dilfer. Trent Dilfer is better than fucking Lamar Jackson. You gonna tell me that? You don't believe that, man. That's why you say you don't believe that, man. Trent Dilfer has delivered and Lamar hasn't. I don't know how you can argue that right now. All right, so moving forward, we only bet. Okay, so the way the way we rank quarterbacks. No, you moving the goalposts. No, no, the way the way the way we rank quarterbacks has shit to do with. I don't give a fuck what their numbers are. I don't give a fuck how they how they perform all season. I don't give a fuck what their numbers are in the playoffs. If you're the starting quarterback of a team that wins the Super Bowl, that's how we gonna rank you. So. Point. That's that's cool. That's easy for me. Cool. So cool. Brady at the top, of course. He got seven. Fuck his stats. He got seven. Boom. Brady. Then we go. Uh, we, we got five. Montana. Boom. And then what? Four is what? Bradshaw. Big Terry Bradshaw got four or five. The Bradshaw got four or five. JB rings. Four. I think. Four. Okay. Terry Bradshaw, third best quarterback of all time. And then from there, it's a lot of threes. You got Mahomes. He got three. You got Elway. He got three. Um, I got my, two. Elway got two. Elway got two. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Take Elway down there. Fuck it. So Mahomes better than Elway. JB, right now he's better than Elway. Um, Aikman has three. Aikman got three. Cool. All right. Aikman's above Elway. Cool. Um, so a lot of three, and then two. A lot of two. So we got Payne, and we got fucking. Okay, cool. I, I like this. I'm gonna do my top ten quarterback list for the for the mall show based upon. Bailey and JB's criteria of what makes you the best quarterback. I love it. Let me ask you. I oh, have we Russell Wilson sweat, right I'm behind me. And you would you say that Lamar has accomplished more than Russell Wilson? Would you say Lamar is better than Russell Wilson? What like how would you view that? Because I feel like you I don't hear you talking about Russell Wilson at all, like he's an all-time great. And Russell Wilson has accomplished this. No, same, I, 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 think Famer, no, I think Russell Wilson was a Hall of Famer. No, I think Russell Wilson was a Hall of Famer because Russell Wilson has numbers. He had my eyes worked and he won. He did everything. So to me, winning is important. I'm not crazy. But it's also, it's like winning, and then what did you also do, though? I didn't forget Seattle. Russell was a beast in Seattle. These last few years have kind of watered down the memories of people of what he was. Russell was a fucking monster, though. He could run. He had rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, could throw the ball accurate. He was a leader, and he won. Like, Russell did everything. So that's why Russell, if you said Russell better than, than Lamar, I'm cool with that right now. I'm cool with that. That makes sense. That, that probably is probably true right now. But there's certain names I'm like, bro, like, I hear what you're saying, but like my, my, my eyes do work though. Like for like Joe Burrow, he's young, but like Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, some of these cats, they haven't won yet. But like I, I can't just say that like Joe Flacco was better than Josh Allen. I don't believe that. He had a hell of a playoff run. I know he got Super Bowl. Shout out to him. But my like we all played football and coached it. Some guys just some people just don't win necessarily. Like, think about basketball. 
Charles Barkley is is an all time great. I think JB said that's like his. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you might call it like like your second favorite power forward of, behind Kevin McHale, I believe. And I, and he never won, but we saw the game. We saw what he did. Yeah. We saw how great he was. It's not just winning, and that's it. I wouldn't even bring in basketball. You can't compare it. That's a whole different conversation. I see people in the chat saying that. That's a whole different conversation. To me, basketball is a stronger argument because basketball, you have more power as an all-time great player to actually control the whole scenario of, of the team. For for the longest, Peyton Manning didn't, all, didn't have great defenses on the Colts to where, like, our offense is putting up 30-some points a game, but if the defense is giving up 30-some points a game, then it ain't going to fucking matter. Aaron Rodgers, the one time you gave Aaron Rodgers the top 10 defense in his career, the one time he's had his entire career, what do he do? Super Bowl, Super Bowl champion. Boom, point blank period. Tom Brady, damn near every Super Bowl, if I'm not mistaken, had a top 10 defense. Every, I think seven of his rings, at least six of them, top 10 defense in the NFL. That matters. Football, the thing about football is, is such the team sport, as we all know, to where I can't control everything. I could be out here balling my ass, doing everything I can as a quarterback on the offensive side. If the defense lays an egg, what can I do? Josh Allen took the lead against Patrick Mahomes in the AFC Championship with 13 seconds left. He did everything in his power. Patrick Mahomes goes down there and they fucking uh, score, and they, win the, and, they win the, and they go to overtime and they win the game. Josh Allen never sees the field again. So now we're looking at Josh Allen. Well, you didn't win. You didn't win, bro. You're not that good. It's like what? Like what? I, I couldn't do anything. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me bring in some relevant. I'm cooking things. right now. I'm fucking cooking. I'm in my bag. No, you're not. You can't compare quarterbacks to any other sport. By the I'm way, I'm cooking. JB, stop. Give me my props. Give me my props. There's no props because you you can't compare quarterbacks to any other position. Number one. Number two. Real quick. This is why this era and generation living on stats doesn't correlate with me this is why since taking over as the chief starter patrick mahomes has thrown 53 interceptions listen to what i'm telling you 5-3 53 that has been called back by penalty mm. the next closest in that span is josh allen with seven this is the reason why stats are overhyped and overrated when you break down these quarterbacks. My eyes work too. When I break down the film, I see bubble, bubble, screen, screen, bubble, bubble, screen, screen, and then we see fantasy points say, oh, he's the greatest ever. But I've seen guys protected in this game in four Super Bowls, to be precise, in Patrick Mahomes. And I've seen guys who also get fucked over and have – the raw end of the stick and in our case that we're arguing aaron Rodgers, we can argue has been fucked over by his defense and some bad situation play calling in late games with the niners because we've all said can't beat the niners in the playoff but then i can flip the coin and say well patrick mahomes to be honest until last year didn't even have a mediocre performance in a super bowl Mm. Got blown out and was a fucking shell of himself in Tampa game, Tampa Bay Super Bowl against 41-year-old Tom Brady. So stats to me don't really tell the whole thing. Not when I compare a Lamar to a Tom Brady. That's it's a laughable comparison. But I think in the history, future moving forward, and the next 30-year-old in 30 years will sit here and say, oh, Lamar Jackson. It had these stats. He's the greatest ever, and he's never done anything. This is just keep being pushed. These stat lines keep being pushed. Stats don't tell shit no more, dog. Can't hit the quarterback. Can't reroute the receivers. You can't fucking hit. The, you can't do anything. The game's changed. It is what it is. There you have it. I respect you, Dan. I respect you, JB. This is a great debate. Great discussion. Chat. Let us know who won. Whose side you're on. And um, 